Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how to create a DIY Zigbee router to expand uh, the Zigbee network capacity and range. And uh, I am following the guide on Zigbee to MQTT.io to create a CC2530 router. Um, so we need a couple of things. Uh, I already have a CC debugger and I already have this item dressed. I need to order to make the project complete, but I wanted to show you the process of uh, flashing it. And so you can just get this stuff on AliExpress. So what we need to do is uh, if you look at the CC debugger, uh, over here you can see it on the picture where the ribbon cable plugs, plugs in. Uh, you have this connector uh, which has 10 pins and one uh, open slot over here. And the uh, CC2530 module has a lot of pins and which are labeled over here. So uh, the left label corresponds to the left uh, row of pins so pin 1 so we need to connect it uh, with this schematic so pin 1 which is the upper left one ne needs to connect to ground which is this one or this one and uh, pin 2 which is this one in the CC debugger needs to connect to VCC which is one of those two then pin 3 which is this one needs to connect to P2.2, which is labeled as P22 on the circuit board, which is this left pin. Uh, four is P2.1 and four is over here. And P2.1 is the right one over here. Then we have RST, which needs to connect to seven. And seven is over here and RST is over here. And we need to connect another VCC from 9 to one of those VCC ports. Then we uh, well use the same instructions as flashing the USB stick we have done in an earlier video. And you need to uh, well install uh, some software so you get the Smart RF Flash Programmer from Texas Instruments. And you can follow, well, this guide over here. I will try to leave a link to uh, I'll try to remember. And once you have that program, we need uh, some firmware, which can be found over here. And we need to uh, correct, uh, to select the correct type of board. I am using the CC2530. And we go to binary and into the file and then download. I've already done that. I've extracted the router firmware over here. So now I am going to open the Smart RF Flash Programmer and I'm going to select my hex file for my router. And well, let's check if they stated anything else. No, they didn't state anything else. So uh, we should be okay to hit perform actions. All right, now that that is done, uh, the circuit board is flashed and we are ready to power it with 3.3 volts. So let me do that. All right, now I am uh, in my Zigbee2MQTT uh, settings in Domotics. Uh, if you watch the previous video, uh, you can see how to uh, get this set up. So you have an easy, uh, console for uh, well working with your Zigbee to MQTT and you make need to make sure that Zigbee pairing is active if that is not the case you need to set it to active and edit your uh, hardware then uh, it will in the log show a message that uh, the Zigbee to MQTT has changed and then we can plug in the router next to the uh, the uh, Zigbee to MQTT hub 
and it will join your network and then you have an extended network capacity. Um, ideally, you would want to uh, have uh, a, a distance between your router and your Zigbee stick to uh, also increase your network range. So uh, that was it for this video. Uh, I hope uh, it was all clear and I hope you, I helped you uh, a little bit and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.